Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my June plan with me as well as showing you all of my pages from May. So if you guys are interested in watching um, my May plan with me, I will make sure to link it in the description box. So my theme for May was a gardening type theme with a color scheme of blue and green. So this is what my cover page looks like. Um, it is a garden shed with a bunch of flower pots around it and um, stuff like that. So here is my first calendar page. As you can see, I shifted my color scheme quite a bit from my cover page to more of a pastel green and blue, which I ended up really liking to use. And then I also used um, a silver accent color. So this next spread has my mood tracker on the left and my habit tracker on the right. So this month I decided to do something different, so I drew these leaves out for my mood tracker and then colored them with various colors depending on my mood. Then flipping the page over, on the left hand side I have my goals and highlights section, which is something that I've kept very consistent throughout all my bullet journaling spreads, and then expenses on the right, and then we move to all of the weekly spreads. So for this month I found that they all looked pretty similar, just because the color scheme, or I was very consistent using um, the colors that I was that I decided at the beginning of the month, as well as my photos were all very similar. Um, so you can just have a look at all of them. As you can see, I just, um, stayed away from lots of harsh colors, like black for my writing. I decided to do gray instead, just to change things up, but except for this page. And um, this is actually probably one of my favorites. I'm really happy with the font I use for the days of the week, as well as the um, circles of scrapbooking paper, and then the two lines of washi tape. It's something different that I haven't really done before, and I will definitely be using it again Um, here's a spread that I'm not super happy with and it was just kind of like a throw together last minute spread where I used some photos that didn't really look that great together but that's okay. Um, here is my last one. This one I really have an emphasis on the light blue and pretty much I was just using up all of my leftover photos before the end of May and um, yeah. So now we are going to be moving on to June, which I am super excited about this theme. I decided to paint a carousel for my cover page and kind of do a orange and yellow um, color scheme um, that was super bright and sunny and perfect for June. So I started by sketching out my carousel, which took me quite a long time, so I did it off camera. And then I started with the backgrounds and then went in with some more watercolors to do the carousel ride. Um, this took me a long time to do uh, all the layers in it. So um, I was just waiting for the painting to dry and then going back in with more paint on top of it to get the right colors. So for the horses on the carousel, um, I am not completely happy with them, but that's okay. I ended up using a lot of marker for them just to get the right color and also just to get um, the details correct because I was struggling to get the shape of the horse with my paintbrush. So another thing that I wanted to incorporate into this theme was using a lot of gold because I thought it um, matched the carousel and like um, type of vibe. So I use these gold markers they're like paint pens that um, work really well on top of watercolor. So I use that for details such as the poles on the carousel as well as some other details on the top. And I also added some more detail by adding some white highlights with a white jelly roll gel pen. Um, and then the final thing that I had to do on this painting was to write June at the bottom. So I always struggle with doing this and I always seem to like screw it up somehow. So uh, this time I got it centered, I think, but then I struggled with, um, because the background was very dark, it didn't look super bright. So I ended up having to do a drop shadow, which did turn out fine, but I was a little bit worried about that after I had written June. But that is how this page turned out. So pretty much I just glued that into my journal and that is the cover page for June. So my first page after this one is going to be my calendar. So for this month, I decided to um, outline the calendar in my theme color, which is this like yellowy orange color. And then at the top for the days of the week, I wrote in this monoline cursive and then I added some photos 
that I printed off from Pinterest as well as some washi tape and stickers. On the right hand side I have a section for to do and my events for June and then I wrote June with a gold paint pen which I used previously on the cover page. And then I also added some black drop shadows to that, but overall I am happy with how this page turned out and it's pretty simple, at least for me, and I think it will be great for keeping um, all of my dates organized for June. And the next page is my goals and highlights section and also my expense tracker. So I decided to do this um, more horizontally. So I split my page up that way, which um, is something new that I have never done before. So pretty much my goals and highlights are on the, are on the top half and my expenses are on the bottom. Um, it's pretty standard. I decided to section out my expenses into four different categories. And then I just added some scrapbooking paper and a Pinterest photo. And um, yeah, that is how it turned out. So now moving on to my next page, which is my mood tracker and habit tracker. Um, I decided to do another coloring in one. So I did polka dots for the different days of the month where I'm going to color them in various colors to correspond to my mood. And then on the right hand side, I just um, made boxes for all the different habits that I want to keep track of. And then I'll just co color in the days um, if I did that habit or not. And that is how this spread turned out. And lastly, I have my first weekly spread for June, so I actually decided to use a lighter version of the color that I used before. Um, and I used, or I chose these vintage type pictures that kind of corresponded well with that color I chose. Um, I have a mini calendar and then I used some gold washi tape for accents and um, I used the same font again because I seem to be really into it and then added all of the dates and this is how the spread turned out. I'm really happy with it and I'm excited to create more spreads similar to this throughout June and um, just making them really summery and bright and fun. So yeah, that's how this turned out. So here is a flip through of all of my June spreads I created in this plan with me. As you may or may not know, I continue to make spreads throughout June and if you guys are interested in seeing those, make sure you subscribe to my channel because I will be showing them in my July plan with me, which sounds crazy because this year is like already halfway over, but um, I pretty much what happens is I make a new spread for each week of the month and then I can use it to write to-do lists, um, keep dates in order and stuff like that. But pretty much that's all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!